Media reports in recent times have suggested that the Jubilee Partners have defaulted in payment of taxes. According to the report, workers contracted by Talu and other partners in the Jubilee field are able to avoid paying tax because of their temporary immigration status, whilst others do not obtain the necessary work permits. But Talu said the report is inaccurate, insisting its workers have always fulfilled their tax obligations. According to them, they have indeed been paying income tax and other taxes except taxes on the oil revenue which they have a special arrangement with government. Gayhat Mensa, Corporate Affairs Director of Talu Ghana, explained that the arrangement is not new in Ghana as most investors are given special concessions for huge investments. He said the Jubilee Partners have invested more than 3.5 billion US dollars into the project and so government has agreed to that arrangement. Hey, that the Jubilee Partners have not paid tax since they started operations um, is, is not the correct picture to put across. There are various types of taxes. Um, there, are, there are income taxes, and so those who are being paid salaries, of course, their taxes are being paid. Um, I think the issue in reference here has to do with um, taxes on revenue generated from the sale of crude. Now, what you need to bear in mind is that there was an investment of about $3.5 billion in the Jubilee field, and the, the, the laws of Ghana allows that when there are such huge investments in any enterprise, in any project, um, there are various arrangements under which the investor is allowed to recoup his investment. And so that's, that comes in with some kind of concessions um, in terms of taxes until, until a time that it is deemed appropriate that you start paying taxes. And so um, as we speak now, there is that kind of arrangement, there is that kind of agreement between the Jubilee Partners and the government of Ghana. Um, that is the, the, the agreement under which we are operating at the moment.